when they went aground and they realised that, that there was no way that they could stay there and wait for help. They realised that they had to leave. There were five longboats. They decided who would go into each longboat. And then there was a scurry. They had lots of stores of food and wine and alcohol. And so they just threw that open. And so everybody had access to as much alcohol as they wanted. The, the butcher, his responsibility was to kill the, the sheep and, and the pig and the cook, of course, to prepare them. And once that was all done, and I can imagine poor Mrs. Dare must have been tucked away in her cabin just at the anticipation of being tossed with her, her children into a life raft. It just must have been terrible. The cook didn't mind. He was drunk. He was busy doing his job. He had a focus. So did the butcher. He had a focus. And once that was all complete, they took what they could take in the way of their personal gear. They also took their muskets and um, some, some weaponry because that area is rife with, with pirates at the time. And away they went. The Laskers were very unhappy to go with them, uh, probably like the AB of uh, the onboard ships today. And off they set. There was a gentleman on board who had been sick for some time and he unfortunately died shortly after leaving and so they dealt with his body as they do in those days at sea they they wrapped him and put him overboard and there were so many sharks trailing them the sharks were just going mad for this poor man's body so here they are in in their their life rafts or what we term life rafts they've got sharks swimming around them they've got weather at them and then along come the pirates along come the pirates in the prow and the Laskers were actually, because they separated themselves from the group, they were actually killed. Um, there was a scurry with a shot of, um, you know, at the pirates as the pirates were bearing down. They used their muskets and they managed to actually get away from the pirates. And then three of the boats ended up heading towards Singapore. One of the boats was destroyed with the Laskers by the pirates and the other boat we had Colonel Campbell in it who went ashore and did not return and he did not actually return to Singapore in that long boat uh, he was returned by one of the Raj the Ind Indonesian Raj I thought at first it was the Brunei Raj but Indonesian Raj he was returned to Singapore um, safely sometime later the other three eventually made their way back to Singapore, but not before the little boy, the two-year-old on board with Mrs. Dare actually fell into the sea. And there was really some drama around that. They managed just to save him before coming into Singapore. And if my memory serves me right, it was about 10 days to 12 days in the time of them becoming grounded on the Laconia Shoals, which is a tremendously long way away from the shipping route that they used to take from Singapore to Macau. So they really were blown off course for three days, some distance. But the real reason they went up onto that reef was um, they were becalmed and they had no way of actually controlling their vessel whatsoever. The weight took them up on. So tremendous, tremendous story, a great story because there were survivors, great story because there wasn't a, a tragedy on board. I would have difficulty diving, I think, a wreck where I knew a lot of lives were lost. So for me, this is, um, for all of us, it's, it's, a, it's a great wreck because of that.